A soup bowl cozy is a must when microwaving leftovers. They can be put in the microwave around a bowl and give you an easy way to remove the bowl after heating without burning your fingers. You can also use a bowl cozy around an ice cream dish so your hands won't get cold when holding the dish. These will make wonderful gifts for the holidays. Every household can use one or more of these bowl cozies. Once you make one, you won't be able to stop. These come together so quickly and easily. This bowl cozy is named the Crazy Bowl Cozy because it uses a crazy quilt piece block for the top fabric. This makes it perfect for using up scrap fabrics. A few weeks ago, I showed you how to use an AccuQuilt cutter and this Crazy Quilt die to create Crazy Quilt blocks. Look in the description of this video for a link to the tutorial. For this Bowl Cozy tutorial, I am starting with an assembled Crazy Quilt blocks and will use them for the top fabric. I will use my AccuQuilt cutter and the Bowl Cozy die to cut the pieces for this project. The Bowl Cozy die makes it even easier to make because it has the darts cut out and cuts the finished shape of the Bowl Cozy. AccuQuilt has two sizes of Bowl Cozy dies. Mine is the Big Bowl Cozy and it makes a Bowl Cozy that is 8 inches by 8 inches which is perfect to fit my 7 inch diameter bowls. This die is very large and will only work with the Go Big and Studio 2 cutters. The die is 14 inches by 16 inches, so it's huge and just fits into the Go Big. If this is your first larger die like this, don't forget to get the correct size mats to use. Of course, I didn't realize this die was larger, so I had to order the new mats and then wait for them. If you have the Go Cutter, you can still make bowl cozies using the small bowl cozy die. Bowl cozies made with the small die will finish at six and three quarters by six and three quarters, so these will fit smaller bowls. AccuQuilt has two downloadable tutorials for making bowl cozies. I will include links to the downloads on the page for this project. Find links to the AccuQuilt dies, wrap and zap, thread, and other supplies for this project on our project page. A link is available in the description of this video. Most bowl cozy patterns are made from two pieces of 100% cotton fabric with two layers of 100% cotton batting. It is very important to use 100% cotton fabric and batting and even 100% cotton thread when making bowl cozies. If the fabrics or threads are not 100% cotton, they can melt, burn, or cause a fire in the microwave. I recommend using Pellon Wrap and Zap when making your bowl cozies. This product is specifically made for use in the microwave. If you are looking for another 100% cotton batting, make sure that it does not contain polyester scrim, glues, or binders. Scrim can be a very thin polyester stabilizer and that is needle punched into the cotton fibers. Polyester scrim makes the batting unusable for the microwave. What you need to make these crazy bowl cozies is the AccuQuilt Big Bowl Cozy Die, an assembled 10 and a half inch finished square crazy quilt block assembled with 100% cotton fabric and thread, a 10 and a half inch square of 100% cotton fabric for the back. If you don't want to use the crazy quilt block, you can also use a 10 and a half inch square of 100% cotton fabric for the front two 10 and a half inch square pieces of the wrap and zap, 100% cotton thread, fabric marking pencil or chalk, quilting clips are optional or you would need pins if you don't have clips, scissors, optionally you can use this blade saver cutter if you're chain stitching your, your blocks together. You can also use a small bowl cozy die for this project. If you're using the small bow cozy die, measure the die cutting area width and height and add one half inch to get the size of the fabrics to cut. These bow cozies are also a fat quarter friendly project. Pick out two coordinating fat quarters and make a bowl cozy. If you're making a lot of bowl cozies, cut all of the 10 and a half inch squares of fabrics and batting before starting to cut with the AccuQuilt cutter. You can assemble the bowl cozies in an assembly line fashion. To speed up the assembly of a bowl cozy, it's best to cut one layer of batting top with the cotton fabric in one pass through the cutter. 
I like to put each set through the cutter individually and then make a stack of cut pieces. Cut the front and the back for one cozy and stack them aside. Continue cutting the front and back for each cozy, remembering to layer each with the batting. Make a stack of the cut cozy fabrics. Next, we're going to sew two diagonal lines, corner to corner, across each set of fabric. Take your pile of fabrics to the work table and use a ruler and your favorite marking pencil or chalk. Place the ruler corner to corner and draw a line. Mark each fabric set with the lines. If you want to save time and you can stitch straight lines without the marks, feel free to just skip this step. At your sewing machine, thread your top and bottom thread with 100% cotton thread. Use a straight stitch and your standard stitch length. Sew from corner to corner along the marked lines. There's no need to back tack on this step. I suggest that you chain stitch the diagonal lines. This saves on thread and is also quicker to sew the lines one after the other. So I finished my first line and I'm going to just stitch a couple stitches off the edge, insert my next fabric under this presser foot and start stitching. Continue chain stitching through each fabric in the one direction only. After stitching the first set of lines, use your handy blade cutter to cut the thread in between each one. Make sure you stack them as you cut them apart. You would start with the last piece you sewed and then stack them in the same order as they come off the string to keep them in order. Next, turn them and stitch the other diagonal line. Again, use the chain piecing method when stitching. When you get to the middle, put a little bit of pressure pulling towards you on the fabric to make sure it doesn't buckle a little bit when you go to go across the previous stitching. Stitch the second diagonal line on all of the pieces and cut them apart, stacking them again in the same order. Next we're going to sew the darts. Fold the fabric in half and line up the darts on each side. Stitch these first two darts and then you will open up the fabric, fold it the opposite direction, and stitch the other two darts. Again, I like to chain piece them, so fold the first fabric in half matching the darts. Start stitching from the inside point and be sure to back tack. Stitch the dart with a one quarter inch seam. There is no need to back tack on the outside edge. So I folded the fabric, matched up the dart, and now I'll stick it under the, fa under the presser foot. And this is my quarter inch foot I've changed to. Stitch a couple stitches forwards, back tack, and stitch the dart with the one quarter inch seam allowance. Now instead of taking it out of the machine, I'm going to continue and keep sewing all of the darts on one side by stitching off a few stitches and then now stitching the next one. I think this is a faster way to assemble the bowl cozies because you're doing one, the same thing in a row and then going to the next one. So I'm going to finish stitching the first set of darts on all of my pieces for the bowl cozies. Cut these apart, again keeping them in the same order by stacking them as you cut them apart. So there's the first dart and I'm going to continue by sewing the second dart. Again I start from the middle and sew towards the edge and I will back tack at the beginning and just sew off the edge. So I have my first sets of darts sewn for all of the fronts and backs of my bowl cozies.
Next, continue with the second set of darts by folding the fabric in the opposite direction. Match up the darts and sew them in the same way I just did for the first set of darts using the chain piecing method. I'm going to continue stitching and come back after I finish sewing all of the darts. All right, so I finished the second set of darts. I have all four darts sewn on all of the fronts and backs and the bowl cozy is starting to look like a bowl now. Take the first front and back of the bowl cozy, place them together with right sides together. I like to use quilting clips to hold my cozies together. Match and open up each dart and place a clip on the darts. Then place a clip on each corner just to hold them in place too. Clip all of your bowl cozies together so they're ready to be sewn. Here are all my bowl cozies clipped together. So I'm going to take the first one. I'm going to sew together the front and back pieces with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. I want to leave a 3 inch opening for turning on one side between the dart and the corner. Remember to back tack at the beginning and the ending. I've put my standard presser foot back on to my machine and I will use my line, my 3 8 inch line, to guide my stitching. I like to start near one of the corners. Go forwards and back tack a few stitches and when I take the first corner clip out, I like to put that clip next to the clip on the last dart. This will remind me to stop stitching there and not stitch the whole thing and forget to leave the opening. So stitch slowly around the corner and if you have to stop as you're going and you may need to lift your presser foot to go around. As you go along, take out the clips and stitching over the darts area is pretty thick, so you may need help need to help push it through. And continue stitching all the way around until you get to the two clips. When you come to the dart with the two clips, take the clips off. Finish stitching over the dart, just past the dart, and then back tack. And now we have a little opening for turning. Continue sewing together all of the cozies. The next step is to clip the curves. Clip in a few places around each corner, making sure you don't clip over your stitching line. And then I usually also clip on each side of the dart just to help it lay a little bit more flat. Turn the bowl cozy right side out. I usually like to put my fingers in the hole and kind of try to turn each corner by pressing it in. And then I can start to pull the corners through the hole to finish turning it right side out. Use a turning stick or a chopstick to press the corner, to get the corners nicely pressed out. And I also like to run them, run it along the seam to try to make sure that the seam is all pressed out properly. Once you have all the corners and everything pressed out, give it a good pressing with your arm all the way around. While you're pressing, flip the raw edges of the opening to the inside and press that flat. Use a couple of clips to hold the opening closed and in place. 
So I'll do this for all of my cozies that I'm working on and be back in a few minutes with the last step. At the sewing machine, edge stitch around the cozy one eighth of an inch away from the edge. The top stitching will hold all the layers together and close the opening. This top stitching will help keep all the layers in place when you wash the cozy. And the Crazy Bowl Cozy is finished. I'll finish stitching up the other ones. Stick around because I have a free printable instruction sheet to show you. Here are my finished bowl cozies. I recommend you wash the bowl cozies before gifting or using them. This is just to be sure that there is no sizing or anything on the fabric that can cause a fire in the microwave. Always use caution when using the bowl cozy in the microwave and always supervise when microwaving with a cozy. As a bonus, I have created a printable instruction sheet to include with your bowl cozy gifts. Click the link in the description to download the free printable. The printable comes with four sets of instructions on one sheet that you can cut apart and then include with each of your bowl cozy gifts. We hope you enjoyed learning how to use your AccuQuilt Go to cut and assemble these crazy bowl cozies. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Like and share our videos, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss future videos. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other quilting tutorials and free projects. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly newsletter so you won't miss new tutorials. Happy sewing!